Welcome to YMCA 360. My name is Ross. Thank you for joining me again as we take a look at the many ways all of us can make a big difference in our own communities and indeed the world by collectively making the small and big efforts to make them a better place. We're talking about social impact. Memes have become so popularized now that ask just about anyone and they will know what a meme is. Use just about any social media platform and you are bound to see at least one every single day. More and more I feel like I see a growing division between the younger generations and the older generations. This division does a disservice to humanity. I hope that for you watching at home, you can think of a healthy relationship that you have with someone that are generations removed from yourself. These relationships are massively beneficial to both the older and younger generations. And finding ways to reach out, connect, and foster these relationships are all part of bridging the gaps between the generations and having huge social impact in doing so. For young viewers, think of all the things that the older generations have experienced. Sure, you can read about things in a history book, you can scroll through Wikipedia, etc., etc., to educate yourself about the past, or, and get this, if the event happened recently enough in history that the older generation lived through it, making these connections and having these relationships is literally an opportunity to gain the first-hand accounts and perspective of the lived experience of that moment in time. Whatever the personal bias of that lens might be, it is still an authentic perspective by someone that lived through it. Think about how much, for instance, the boomer generation, that's folks born between 1944 and 1964, have witnessed. Monumental breakthroughs in medicine from brain surgeries to artificial organs. They lived through the Cold War, Vietnam, both Gulf Wars, the rise and assassinations of JFK, and the rise and assassination of MLK, the civil rights movement, all the space race and humanity putting a person on the moon. They might have even seen in concert Elvis Presley or the Beatles and the explosion of the tech era. You could learn so much as well as be entertained. Society has changed a lot over the time and they will have so many great personal stories of their own. I have no doubt. And look, your motives do not have to be entirely altruistic. You can make a social impact whilst at the same time serving some of your own interests. Volunteering in working with the elderly can look absolutely great on your resume. You could be developing your organizational skills, coordinating activities and special events, communication skills, and perhaps getting involved in fundraising efforts. And while developing these interpersonal skills and growing your relationship with those you are meeting, you might also find that it proves to be a networking opportunity. But ultimately, you are here for the social impact, right? And here is the situation. Elderly people can oftentimes be neglected by mainstream society, and many people in their twilight years may not get treated with the dignity and respect that they are deserving of. More and more, people are moving great distances for careers or relationships, and the family dynamics of the more or less living in geographically close proximity to all of your relatives are something of a bygone era where family members could just pop around to check on elderly relatives or even have them move in when greater care would be required. Instead of the level of care needed and the time that the busy modern world affords a younger working generation, many elderly people find themselves in elderly care homes and they can feel a real sense of isolation and loneliness. By volunteering your time in a senior living community, by providing your company and care, by listening and talking, you are providing some of the best care residents could get. Studies show direct correlation between loneliness and increased cardiovascular disease and cognitive decline. In other words, your friendship could very well extend the quality of life elderly people experience. And just think about the impact that could have on the families of the elderly people that you are spending time with. Oftentimes, their families would like to spend more time with them than they are able to. The peace of mind that you as a volunteer can bring these families is invaluable. This week, I want you to go and get to know the elderly people in your lives better. Specifically, ask them questions about their lives, their experiences, stories from their childhoods, or from being a young adult. And once you have learned more about the elderly people in your life, consider volunteering at an elderly care home. 
Take a look and see if you can find opportunities in your community. We would love to hear about what you learned from them. What did you find out that you never knew? What surprised you? Share their stories using the hashtag WhySocialImpact. Thank you for joining us. We cannot wait to learn about all of the amazing stories you discover this week. We will be back again with more ways that you can make a social impact in your community very soon. And don't forget to make it a great day.